Good morning. This is the first day after Easter, and it's good to have all of you here again for our daily devotionals. Uh, today is from the 11th chapter of John. Now a certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary, and her sister Martha. And it was the Mary who anointed the Lord with an ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. The sisters therefore sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. And when Jesus heard it, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of Man may be glorified by it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. And when therefore he heard that he was sick, he stayed there two days longer in the place where he was. And then after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now seeking to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. This is said, and after that he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go, that I may awaken him out of sleep. And the disciples therefore said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he was speaking of literal sleep. And then Jesus therefore said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, so that you may believe, but let us go to him. Henry Oswa Turner burst onto the scene in 1896 with a masterpiece, The Resurrection of Lazarus. The painting earned a medal at the Paris Salon, making Tanner a phenomenon. The most stunning feature of Lazarus is the many evocative expressions painted on the faces of those gathered around Jesus and Lazarus. He explained his desire to illuminate the biblical narrative, which also adding the human touch which makes the whole world akin. Well, he knew that whatever our differences we're all bound together by the inevitability of death. And we all together find our hope in Jesus, who is victorious, as we know, over death. In John, it was a man named Lazarus who was sick. But the truth is, we are all sick in some way. We're all in one way or another doomed to the grave. Though Mary and Martha asked to Christ's help, Lazarus died before Jesus arrived, and surely then... This was the end of the story. Everyone knew death owned the final word. But Jesus disagreed. Standing before the dead man's tomb and the astonished crowd, he thundered, Lazarus, come out! And Lazarus walked out of his crypt. All of us know the weight and the fear that lies before us someday. The death of our bodies and our relationships and our hopes. Jesus, as we know through this glorious resurrection that we celebrate, Jesus has the final word. His transforming ways continue to bring light and life into all the world. So for the questions today, how have you experienced the bitter effects of death in your own life with those that you love? And where do you sense God speaking life into you and your own experience this morning? Pray with me. Jesus, there's death everywhere. Would you bring me your life as we celebrate the glorious day of this Easter resurrection. Would you speak the final word? Amen.